Paul Grove together. How's it going? So I am running a utility right now. You just click this button here and it starts to run. I actually it just finished. I was in the process of making the video and I realized I didn't even have it on record. So the good news is, is you don't have to wait for it to finish. Um, you hit this button or you can just come over here to name servers and hit it and it will run a benchmark utility which is going to de uh, determine the best DNS settings for you or the, des the best DNS host for you. Um, it's a server basically that routes your data over um, an IP protocol internet, um, well, transaction protocol internet. Basically, like, let's break it down in layman's terms. You know, you're driving on the highway, it's going to give you like the best GPS route to get you there the fastest based on real time traffic of the network or the highway. It's just like highways, networks get congested or they have traffic jams on a highway, right? So it's kind of the same thing. So right now it's telling me that my best settings are to use this domain name server and this one will be my best primary back one, backup one. Well, actually it would be these two. But these two are having issues right now because of something or other. And if you want to find out more about it, you can go to the DNS page where I did find this and where you will be um, sent to if you click the link in the description below. Which I am not getting any money for this. this is absolutely free. It's called freeware for a reason. It's free software. Features and operations walkthrough tells you all about it at the bottom of the page or download to or download a copy to your computer. So I'm gonna backtrack. This is all the way scrolled down. And I highly suggest you read and you learn about this tool because it's very, very useful. Um, this is made by Steve Gibson, who formerly worked with Steve Jobs um, and is better known for I think it's spiderware uh, program that he made that would actually run all on its own through a USB drive and be able to recover lost files for data um, recovery. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, since this is the best one, it's the most secure because it's green, right? Not yellow, even that's better, but it's yellow and I'm going to have issues. I'm going to copy the name server's IP and then I'm going to go to a new tab and I'm going to type in 192.168.1.1 that's usually your login address for your router. Um, if not, you can check on the bottom of the back where you can find that login. Now this will be easy and the same for most people. A little bit easier for my router because it's a gaming router made for this kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in my password. Login. Uh, yours is probably admin password uh, one two three four five six seven eight or eight zeros. Um, other than that, you just have to look on the back of your router or under your router, and you'll find it. So what we're going to do now is um, this is showing the upload speeds right now, and this is actually being uploaded from my cell phone. So I don't really want to do this while I'm uploading um, from my cell phone. Anyways, who cares? I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so advanced settings. We're going to go to my internet connection settings and I am going to first make sure I've copied the right one which is the first one here and copy name service to IP and I'm going to paste and then I'm going to go over here to the benchmark utility and copy the next one on the screen um, copy name service to IP and put this as my secondary and I'm going to paste and I'm going to save and applying these changes will restart your router so now we're going to disconnect from the internet it's my phone especially once this is um, done and my router restarts these will be applied and I can make sure that I am getting the best connection now I would suggest that you don't have internet connection the only reason I'm keeping my internet connection because I'm actually uploading a lot of data right now um, so I appreciate you guys watching this video. This is definitely probably one of the, my favorite tools that I've found so far. Another thing we can do though, um, this is more for your PlayStation, PC, or Xbox users, is go to Activision support, or you can go to my website, which I'm going to provide the link to, um, and use these transaction protocols. Sorry, my phone cut out. So anyways, use these transaction protocols. Um, we're going to start with the TCP ones first. Now, you notice some of them say TCP UPD. Some of them, you on some of your routers, you may be able to just insert all TCPs and all UPDs um, separate. <coughs> Mine specifically would like me to put in the ones that are um, matching. Um, 
in the TCP UPD section. So I put it in 80 first and then I'm gonna put in 443 next, right? So, but I'm not gonna put 80 to 443 because it doesn't specify a dash like this one does. So I'm copying it because that's what's gonna be put in next. I'm just gonna put port in since it's only one port, 80. And we're gonna go to TCP as our protocol. And then we're gonna add another port forwarding rule. Um, same thing applies, PS4. Um, and we're gonna add the 205 at the end. And we're going to, which is just to match this one right here. Then we're going to paste in the one, the new one that I had copied, paste it in. And we're gonna put in TCP again, cause we're just on our TCPs. Um, and I'll throw a link in the description to how you can find these on my website, 1935. Um, so it's gonna be our last transaction protocol that doesn't have a UPD involved. Um, and this might be Spanish to you, but all you gotta do is just uh, say, so PS41, it has to be all different names. Um, whoops, Control Z to undo that, and we'll just put PS43, I'm sorry, two. Um, and then add the 205 at the end to make it the same IP address. And we're just gonna Control V, paste the 1935 in there, Control V, paste again. And then we're gonna add the TCP real quick and go back over here to WR2. Oh, I'm sorry, my um, notepad, where's that at? And we're gonna add the TCP UPD. Now on Activision support, it actually shows 3478 through dash 347 or 3480, but only one of them can be used, or the only, um, yeah, only one of them can be used as a UPD, which is the 3480. So I wouldn't be able to use that as a UPD because it's already listed as TCP. So we're gonna list TCP UPD for the ones that are both. Um, so we're gonna add a port forwarding rule and we're gonna paste that in there. Whoa, oops, control Z. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. Control V. What did I do wrong there? Oh, okay, that's what I did wrong, sorry. Okay, so I'm just gonna, okay, I'll paste it this time, and then we'll put in three, four, seven, eight, and then it'll be three, four, seven, nine next, so. Because that's what the range is to, since it has the dash in there. And then we're gonna put in PS43. And this is gonna be um, TCP and UP, UDP, I'm sorry. Add another port forwarding rule. And now we're gonna go back over to the notepad. Um, and I'm gonna grab 3480, 3480. I'm gonna copy that UPD. And once again, PS4. It's really this simple. PS4, 4. four. Um, I'm gonna add the 205, which I forgot to do above. I'm gonna add it out so again. Um, and then I'm gonna paste the number, and it's gonna end at the same number because it doesn't get any bigger. And we're gonna put what? UDP. And we are done. We have added extra lanes of traffic. So when we're network congestion periods, like when there's super high traffic and everybody's on and you have a really slow connection, you get to use these different connections to the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 servers. So we're gonna save that. Now you can also add those in for the PlayStation Network as well. Oh, I'm sorry. PS4 8080, I didn't even add the IP address in for that one. That's weird. And sorry about the music in the back, or the noise in the background. We're actually editing. I'm gonna have to actually type something in so it'll pop up save, there we go. I don't know why it would let me save without doing that. All right, so TCP, this, it all looks good. Now we are done, we've added that in there. Um, now my DD, or um, yeah. So I did the DNS settings earlier, correct? Yes, yeah, so that is it. Um, we are done with everything and I'm gonna actually restart my router and restart my PlayStation, turn it completely off and on, and test my speeds.